You can put your hand down, Jazz. No way. Dude's got a gun. Next thing you know, I got six warning shots in my back. Plan to get a drink of water, guys. Now's the time to get your drink of water, guys. <laughs> yeah. I seen a man gunned down in Brooklyn on the rooftop of the projects named Timothy. He was 19, guess who shot? It was off a scenario, he claimed he was doing a routine check and shot his gun by accident. Killed the man, you seen that? 30 day suspension and the gun took with the penalty is what the jury and department did agree on. Are you kidding me? I heard a man scream as he was gunned down in his vehicle with his two friends in attendance who was wounded just to see the news. That man, Sean Bell, was getting married. It's the damn cops ain't aim shooting, reload, firing about 50 shots. Officer Oliver shot 31, switched the clip, left with a full pension, now works at a car dealership. I seen him in a handcuffs that was gunned down by the bar train in Oakland by Officer Mesley and the pig gang. He was Oscar Grant, know that justice, so we ever went in voluntary manslaughter. Cops served just 11 months. I seen a man gunned down in Portland who was no threat where the cops came, but they said that it was there for a welfare check. That man, Eric Campbell, was shot by him, Ron Fashaw, with hands on his head, shot in his back, AR-15 power. I seen a man in Denver that was tased down when a damn zoo had eight cops who attacked him. Out of the cage, animals, Lieutenant Rubicana, from Alonzo by the water fountain, then chucked, tased on the ground, till he vomited, then he died. Then I seen a man in New Orleans gunned down on his own steps by officer Josh Coakley who had a warrant for a weed check That man went to Island was 17, college student, murdered by the badge man Please tell me why they do this I seen a man in Charlotte that was gunned down cause he wanted help See his car crash and we knocked on doors and hope somebody help That man John Farrell was 22, getting married, white neighbors called the cops He was shot by a roundy I seen a man choked in Staten Island was 43 He said that he wanted peace, they choked him until he couldn't breathe Cops killed Eric Garner because of his unwillingness They said they saw him sell to a man some illegal cigarettes Garner said it wasn't so, cops said it was time to go Mashed his head on the ground, choked by Pantaleo I seen a man gunned down just yesterday in Ferguson He was Mike Brown, had his hands up there and Wilson murdered him They say he robbed the store, fake footage of what happened That man had his hands in the fucking air, so none of that matters All of them were unarmed and black Take action, cops don't give a fuck Cops kill through they badges This is Trayvon, Henry Davis, Diallo family Seriously, I can't stand it, riot music, God damn it. In the past decade alone January 24th, 2004, Timothy Stansberry, Brooklyn, New York, unarmed. November 25th, 2006, Sean Bell, Queens, New York, unarmed. January 1, 2009, Oscar Grant, Oakland, California, unarmed. January 29th, 2010, Aaron Campbell, Portland, Oregon, unarmed. July 18th, 2011, Alonzo Ashley, Denver, Colorado, Unarmed. March 7, 2012, Wendell Allen, New Orleans, Louisiana. Unarmed. September 14, 2013, Jonathan Farrell, Charlotte, North Carolina. Unarmed. July 17, 2014, Eric Garner, Staten Island, New York. Unarmed. August 9, 2014, Michael Brown, Ferguson, Missouri. Unarmed. In the past decade alone, these men and hundreds of others have lost their lives to police. Local police report to the FBI, killing at least 400 people a year. From 2006 to 2012, a white police officer killed a black person at least twice a week in this country.